What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I am Laughing Coyote. This is Kriga 19 T10 Minnows Diversity League. Today, we have Zimbabwe versus Scotland in Group B. So, Zimbabwe, the coach for Zimbabwe is Yusuf, the coach for uh, Scotland is Mitch. And uh, there are people in the comments down below. Those are uh, fans basically who watch my videos and they get to uh, decide who plays for which side. And if you want to have a go at one of the teams in the future, all you have to do is become a channel member. You do that by pressing the join button or the subscribe button. You can also use the link in the description to become a channel member as well. Or you can follow me on my social media and I'll pick a random follower of mine to participate in one of the leagues that I do. So uh, go ahead and do that. And now let's jump into the game. All right. It's Baston, Zimbabwe versus Netherlands. There are the two lineups. If you're not a bit too sure about um, how the lineups work, how the teams were selected, the rules and stuff like that, well, check out the T10 Diversity League draft video. It's about two to three long minute long video. If you click on the eye icon in the top right corner, you can see it. Scotland called heads. <clears throat> And heads it is. So Scotland have won the toss and they are going to choose to bowl first. All right, so uh, they've put Zimbabwe into bat first. Brendan Taylor and Sean Williams still been a batting for Zimbabwe. Brendan Taylor, the former captain of uh, Zimbabwe. Sean Williams, current captain of Zimbabwe. And Amit Hassan to open a bowling for Scotland. Yep. It's a lovely flick of the wrist, fast delivery off his pads and out of the gap. Four runs for Brendan Taylor, starting things off in style. Ahmed Hassan from Afghanistan. Yeah. Oh, too short, too wide. That is very well played by Brendan Taylor. It's where we'll field it as well. It's a smaller boundary, but he's uh, chased it down well. It goes short again, he's got him outside edge. Brendan Taylor, quite yeah. easily one of their best batsmen. Well, he has to walk. Ahmed Essen's got him, the Afghan International's got him. Brendan Taylor having a chat with his band. I don't know why he's having a chat with his band. I guess that was a clear out. Clear neck, thick outside edge. Easy take in the end for the wicket keeper as well. And there he is on his way back to the dugout. Seven runs he scored of four deliveries. Not too good today. Normally he's a very good player. Matt Cross is the next batsman and wicket keeper from Scotland. Pavel Florin, the Romanian legend. The Memster strikes first delivery. It's Sean Williams. <laughs> he is such a meme, isn't he? Comes in. It's a wicket, and the first over. That's it, it's a wicket of one of their best batsmen as well. Sean Williams, gone for just one run. One of five. Not a great start for Zimbabwe so far. But let's run from Afghanistan, next batsman in. Harvel. Oh. It's not doing bad, you know, so far he's got a wicket, he's not giving up too many runs. I mean, he's going to give up two there, but that's due to the poor wicket keeping, let's be honest. Hassan brought back into the attack. Oh, that's a lovely shot from Zadran. Didn't quite middle it, but that was enough to race away to the boundary for four. Oh, inside edge, got him. That's the end of Dola Zadran, from one of yeah. to another. He's got him, Hamid. It's been good so far, that's his second wicket of the day. Slight inside edge and, uh, well, rolling cap by v Wesley Barassi behind the sticks. Barassi from Netherlands, by the way. So you've got a Dutchman behind the sticks, Avran to Avran. And JJ Smith and Namibian walks out to the middle now. By the way, if you're not aware of uh, who Pavel Florin is, well... He's the guy who's just got J.J. Smith out. But if you do not know who he is in real life, do a quick Google search. You'll love him, trust me. He's an absolute legend. Well, at least in the cricket meme world. From Romania, he strikes again. He's been bowling so well so far. J.J. Smith has gone. It's another wicket for Pavel. He was supposed, I'm, I'm assuming he's, he was supposed to be just a pick for the banter. 
But he's turning out to be quite a player. Oh, and Nadim, he's taking him on. And Lily's done really well because that's gone all the way for six. Six to six meters long, that is. From Oman with love. Oh, and Nadim, lovely hit. Okay, straight to the field, and he will take it. He hangs on as the other one with the team. Yes, another wicket falls. Wickets are falling like flies. But they're getting a couple of runs under their belt as well so far in this game. I mean, uh, they've been scoring at pretty slow rate. You never know. How many runs are enough? But um, still, you want to do your best with one. Chima is the next best one in. Chima, well, he's gone. Fifth delivery faces, he's gone. That's another wicket for this ball. He's been nice. Uh, he's done really well. He's got a few wickets now. He's put a lot of pressure on Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe, one of the best sides in the league. At the top of this table as well, this will be a massive win for Scotland if they can manage to get a win. Like I said, there's no telling how many runs are enough. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Zimbabwe. We might bowl even better than Scotland, particularly since they're playing Trent Bolt. Oh, well, that's really fun. That's the end of Trent Bolt. That's another wicked fall. And it's uh, Cotton KC, strikes again. He's gotten so many wickets today, the guy is just a beast. A special player Bolt, well he's not really a batsman, but uh, still, you expect him to score a couple of runs at least. He's gone without having trouble to scores. Paul Van Meekeren is the next batsman in. Paul oh, McCarthy strikes, he's nearly got his pole, but no, he's got his back foot in front of it, and the Empire has no choice but to give that out. That is as straight as it gets, man. Oh, don't even think about reviewing that. That is as straight as it gets. Yeah, good decision, Paul. Not reviewing that one, because that was going to be just a waste of a review, really. Well, that's a good shot from Essen Khan. And that's going to be four. Finally, some runs on the board for Zimbabwe. Oh, that was a bit too wide. He's given him a bit of room, and well, Khan's gone after him. He's got another boundary under his back. Again, too wide. That is just not the right kind of line to ball to a tail end, nonetheless, let alone any batsman. And uh, well, Zimbabwe will welcome it because uh, they've gotten themselves a few runs in that over now. Got well, oh my, that's four fours in a row. It's been quite an action packed over. A wicket first up, a four, a four, a four, and another four. 17 so far. Yep. Oh boy, that's another one. That's gone for four as well. <laughs> that is brilliant. That's 20 runs in that over. Oh, that, well, he's gone. <laughs> he's, no need to appeal, he's gone. Oh, look at that. Get him in the pad. And well, to be honest, I mean, if it hadn't, if the ball had not hit the stumps, that would not have been given a, out as an LBW, never an out. Very unlucky for Essen Khan there. He's looking very good. He scored 20 of just six deliveries. Zahur Khan is the next batsman in. Okay, that's a good shot. That's going to be four. 59 up, so... The target, if they lose a wicket right now, will be 60, which is a run of all. But, uh, like I said in this game, you never know which way it's going to go. Try to uh, hit a boundary there. Uh-oh, what is happening? Bit of a mix-up. I mean, they should have gone for it. It's the last delivery. Who cares if they get out or not? So, 61 runs they have scored. That 20 from Essen Khan at the end was the game changer. And uh, like I said, you never know. Um, 60 does not look like too many runs, but um, 
Well, if Zimbabwe struggled, who's to say Scotland's not going to struggle? It's going to be a good one. A little over a run of ball required. Cal Kortza to open the batting for uh, Scotland alongside Callum McLeod. And it's the Kiwi International, the superstar from New Zealand, Trent Bolt, to open a bowling for Zimbabwe. Short one first up, and there it is. Wicked first up. Told ya. Don't think just because it's 61 runs, Scotland's got this. No. You never know which way the game's gonna go. Trent Bolt strikes the very first delivery. Cotton Bowl does not even need any assistance from anyone else. He's got it all on his own. He can bowl it, he can catch it, he can field it. Van Bold is gone. Golden Duck. Del Patel is the next batsman in. Oh, it's a good push. I mean, that's all that was. It's gone for four. Wow, okay. Lovely. Oh, that's a hit. That's a hit and a half. I have a feeling that's going to clear the rope, and it does. Six runs. First six of Scotland's batting innings. So he goes again. Has he just hit another six? Has he? No, that's just short. One balance and four runs. He has hit the side screen, though. So uh, that's something, I guess. I cannot afford to be... Oh, yeah, that's what I meant. They can't give up too many runs. And well, they are. They're giving up loads of runs. They need to take wickets, and they need to keep it tight if they're to win this one. Well, it's a lovely hit from Callum McLeod. That's going to be four. That is four. Lovely bit of batting so far. Ten runs. He moves on to Trent Bolton. Not too happy with himself there. Oh, that's a good shot into extra cover. I think that's going to be another boundary for Callum. Yep, that's a boundary. They're making light work of it. They lost that early wicket, but ever since they've not looked back. Oof, there it is. Finally a wicket. It's a weird sort of a delivery. Oh, yeah, look at that. How do you play that? Sharp turn. Hits the bales off the stumps. Too difficult to handle for Timmel at least, and he was going at a very decent rate. Look at that, 250 strike rate. Very good innings comes to an end. Wesley, but I see the next batsman in. That's a good shot. Rassi off the mark on the very first delivery. The plan is clear. And I think it's a good plan as well on a wicket like this where you never know how you're going to get out because the ball is acting really weird. I mean, it's, it's a good plan to just keep going after the bowlers, keep attacking, get as many runs as uh, quickly as possible. Looks close. Not going to be out though. Impact outside of off. Oh, that, he's middle that one. That's going to go. That's going. That's going. That's gone. Four runs. Shot. Got a fielder there. Is he going to catch it? No. One bounce and four runs. Good shot. Straight down the ground. They've got a fielder though. He's trying to catch up. Nope, that's gone for six. It's not much he can do. Asim Khan, he was very good with the ball. That is brilliantly fielded. He was very good with the bat, is what I meant to say. Let's see how good he will be with the ball. That's a brilliant shot. That's going to be four. That's going to be four, yep. Scotland's batting is, uh, well, too good, it seems. <laughs> Five more runs in 26 delivery. Surely they're not going to lose now. Well, they're going to lose a wicket, that's for sure. Well, actually, if he hangs on, that is. He does hang on. All right. You can't be too sure about these minnows. The drop catches way too often. So, he strikes with a ball, as he did with a bat. That was a sky, though. Look at how high up in the sky that went. Unfortunately, didn't have too much distance on it. Trent Bolt took the catch. With the shades on under the floodlight, Wesley Barassi, a Dutch international, gone for 24. Over 200 strike rate. Amiz Shazad is the next batsman in. Oh, that's a four. That's a four from Ramiz. And with that, that's another victory for Scotland. Scotland's looking good now. They've got a couple of wins under their belt. 
And uh, they're looking good to qualify to the next round to the playoffs. Seven wick uh, wickets they've won it by. We'll take a look at the uh, table at the end. But here's how the game went. Pretty good with the ball, especially Pavel Florin. Fortunately, he didn't get a chance to bat. But uh, yeah, it was a good performance from uh, Scotland. Not too good from Zimbabwe, but it happens. Current case, he gets them out of the match. They are the highest wicket takers, both from Scotland. Well, actually, Essen Khan is there as well as Timothy Patel, who's also from Scotland. So Scotland's doing really well. Let's take a look at the highest run scorer. It's a Scottish player as well, 113. The only batsman with over 100 runs. Brilliantly done, Callum. And uh, there it is now. Scotland at the top. They've got the same amount of points as Zimbabwe. So Zimbabwe and Scotland are in pretty good position. So is Nepal, though. They've won two games. And uh, they're in third place. But they have played one less game than Scotland and Zimbabwe. So keep that in mind. Do let me know who do you think is going to be the top four in this group. As always, if you enjoyed it, do drop a like at the subscribe button and the notification bell. And uh, thank you for the little. See you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice. Oh,